My story began 73 years ago in a sleepy Florida seaside town. The ocean was my joy. I spent hours exploring the coral reefs. I had no way of knowing what would happen later to those beautiful reefs. No one could. I believed that the reefs and other undersea wonders would be there forever. I didn't know then that they were special. I was just a kid. There's a mission for you and for me. Days marched on. The world changed, and with change came new ideas, inventions, and technology. What I didn't know was that as the world was improving, our underwater world was dying. One day, my own children returned to the reefs I had known and loved. Where there had been hundreds of fish of all sizes, there were only a few. Reefs once large with rich, vibrant hues were now small and reduced to a few pale shades. I was saddened to learn that some of the progress of my generation was causing devastation and death in the oceans. I recently spoke to an internationally acclaimed underwater photographer from the Cayman Islands, Kathy Church, along with a world-renowned marine scientist from the Keys whose studies have been highly recognized, Dave Vaughn. Together, they have 62 years of knowledge of the reefs. I've been diving these reefs for 40 years, and now when I go out there, instead of being exhilarated by the beautiful things I do see, I almost cry over the things that I don't see. These reefs don't have very much time left. Ten years is probably the limit, and if we can't save these and get it to become a habit in this next decade, I think we're going to lose them. We have to become a people that respond to future need instead of the immediate emergency. We need to pay attention. It'll be a lot cheaper to save the oceans with what we've got. We still have fish stocks who can replenish. We still have corals who can rebuild. But if we kill it off so far that they can't rebuild, it's going to be an expensive price to pay. So it's better to do it now. Write to your congressman, stop wasting water, stop polluting with plastics and, and oil. Do what you can now, because the reefs need you so badly. There's 25% less corals worldwide than there was just 30 years ago. And it's forecasted that in the next just 10 to 20 years, there will be another 25% loss. We know you're taken for granted, but we stand here Yesterday, oceans were thriving and beautiful. Today, 25% of the reefs have perished. The remaining 75% are in serious danger. I fear that my grandchildren will never see a gorgeous reef teeming with life and color. This is a song for the ocean. Mother Earth, we are calling your name. We have been taken for granted, but we stand here committed to It's not too late. There's so much each of us can do. Every single person can make a difference. Each of us can help by conserving water, using ecological fertilizers, using phosphate-free detergents, buying organic and simply teaching others the value of our reefs. Well, that's my story. I don't tell it with disdain for the past, but with hope for the future. Hope that everyone will make a change today. Let their voices be heard and pass the word. I am at the sunset of my life and my work is almost done. I hand the torch to my children and grandchildren. It is for them to make a difference. With every passing year, the chance of reversing the damage to our reefs lessens. Maybe someday, people will be able to say that this was the year people started to care. I have hope, oceans of hope.